Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. And today we're going to be participating in Inky and Scrappy's Get Creeping on Halloween Challenge. Um, I'll have this month and then next month and then I won't do it for the rest of the year. I stop Halloween cards at the end of October and it'll be Christmas from then on. Um, so I usually only participate January to October. And yeah, so today we are making a Halloween wreath card. I've seen quite a few of these on Pinterest and just on YouTube and everything, watching other people's videos, and I wanted to try one. And I'm doing mine a little bit differently. I'm going to be stamping a wreath, which is from Sunny Studios, and it's like the twig version. I almost wish I had like a die that I could have done this with or just a wreath that was a little bit bigger but this card turns out pretty cute I like the way it turned out um but I wanted to stamp this on black cardstock and emboss it with white so that's what I did I also bought the coordinating dies for this set I've had this set for a few years but I think last year I invested in the dies for it just because cutting out wreaths on the scan and cut it doesn't cut out that middle portion and I definitely wanted to be able to cut that out for both the more full like pine one as well as this twig one and then the, the other day it just like came to me I was like oh I'll just you know try to do this for a Halloween card I'll just use smaller images so we're going to be using a hello bluebird set today which again not available sorry if you hear my cat in the background she's crying outside the door um but anyway uh you could use um, other stamp sets that you have, Mama Elephant's little agenda set, the little ghost agenda would be cute. I'm um, not sure if that one has any pumpkins in it, but there's definitely like a ghost with a pumpkin. There's also like witch sets and mummies and stuff like that, so you could like mix and match those types of sets. Um, if I can find this somewhere, I will link it. If not, I'll try to um, link something else and probably be Mama Elephant's little agenda ones. Um, which I'll be using in another video sometime this month for a different Halloween card. And anyway, I have also this doodle bug paper. It's from 2020, so it's probably no longer available. Um, but I can find the latest fall version and link that. Um, I end up using the green plaid just because there was like orange in the pumpkins that I colored. So I didn't want too much orange. You'll see me like kind of compare them. A little bit later um, but right now I'm just adding a second layer to that wreath just because the embossing warped it a little so I wanted to add a little bit more stability and then I'm just gonna set it under my acrylic block here while I um, stamp and color the images in a minute I'm just cleaning up my works space as I go which I try to do as much as possible plus I needed the misty for the other images anyway <laughs> Um, but I'm going to be using three of the pumpkins. There's like, um, image with two pumpkins stacked and there's two other pumpkins and I'm going to use, um, the one facing to the left just so like the group of the pumpkins are like kind of like chit chatting or laughing or whatever together. And then I'm going to be using the ghost holding the pumpkin and one of the bats. These bats are adorable. I love them so much. This is one of the reasons I actually bought the set was these bats and the pumpkins. <laughs> Again, like the the images for the the ghosts themselves are kind of reminiscent of Mama Elephant's little agenda set. So there will be something similar in theirs. So they're just like a little bit of slightly different style, but it's still very cutesy. And right now I'm trying to figure out what colors to use. I was originally going to color the bat first, but I couldn't decide on... I wanted to do it purple, but I didn't know which purples to use. Um, so I just decided to go ahead with the pumpkins. Um, I didn't want all my pumpkins to be the same, so I ended up coloring these two one color combo and then the other one, um, another one. I probably should have done like the bigger pumpkin in like the darker shade, but I kind of like made this last minute. I was going to make them all the same colors, but I didn't want to get them like lost in each other. So if I was to do this card again, I would definitely do the bigger pumpkin, the darker color and then to do the two smaller ones in the lighter color combo um, but these images are like really quick and simple to color um, 
it only took me a couple of minutes. I think I have this sped up to like two minutes. So it took me like six minutes total because I usually do my videos at three times the speed, even when coloring, unless it's like a long coloring session that I might speed it up a little bit more just so you guys aren't watching me color for hours. Um, but yeah, so I'll just chat through the coloring for today. And I'm just adding a little bit of shading to the ghost. I'm using a C3 marker, I think. And I just outlined a little bit on each side. Sorry, I cut myself off there. Kiki was being very, very annoying. Um, but anyway, um, now I'm coloring the bat. I'm using some of my old Prismacolor markers. I've had these since I was in college, probably. So these are like a good, like over a decade. <laughs> Um, but when you don't use them very often, they last forever and I don't use purples too often. So I don't have very many of them. I need better purples. Um, but I'm waiting for Hollow Tree Hobbies to get their Olo markers back in stock so I can place another order for those because I absolutely love working with those markers. I do have a set of purples, but it's more like lavender tones, lighter colors. I probably could have done that. Um, but I really wanted to go with like a darker purple for these. Uh, I ended up cutting these up on my scan and cut and then I just used my bone folder. I always forget to do this um, so when I remember it's a good thing um, but I kind of like go over the images with the bone folder just because when you cut them with the scan and cut it's like cutting it with an exacto knife and it pulls up the edges a little bit so I just like to smooth those down. And now you're seeing the color comparison. So let me know what your thoughts are. Would you have gone with the green? Would you have gone with the orange? I think the orange still looks cute. I just think it's like a lot of orange on the card and then the pumpkins might kind of get lost. Um, so that's why I went with the green. And then I'm using this punch that I bought off of Amazon and it just kind of like makes it like ticket stub style on the corner, just cuts out like a little tiny circle. And I like the way that the white cardstock kind of like frames this up um, so it looks almost like you've kind of like tucked the corners into like slits in the corner like you would for like a scrapbook and you guys know I have to have that white border <laughs> um, but right now I'm using a set from Simon Says Stamp for the sentiment it's just gonna say happy Halloween I'm gonna stamp it directly on the card mat and originally I was going to also heat emboss that white on black but i didn't want it to compete with the wreath so i decided to stamp it directly on the base here which i do about three or four times i have used this stamp before maybe one other time only though so it's still kind of like new to me and i probably needs a better priming so hopefully when i wiped it off this time it's got more of that like factory finish off of it because the um ink was just kind of like beating up a little bit on it so I'm stamping it over and over again <laughs> just to get that like solid and especially because I'm stamping it right on a pattern paper um, you definitely want to make sure that it's solid and then there's no like missing bits looks like I did it three times and now I'm going to be adding the wreath and I'm going to be using some foam tape to prop that up and then once I have that all done I'm going to add my images and also you know add foam tape here and there just to like make it even um so that it doesn't you know cave in if I decide to mail this to somebody um but yeah that's pretty much our card for today not much else to say I did try to put some embellishments on these as well but I cut that out of the video for today I did the same in the last one I put them out and then I didn't like them so I left it as is Again, I did the same today. I probably could have added them, but I decided I liked the card um, the way it was. But thanks again for joining me for today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Um, I will be doing my uh, giveaway announcement on Friday. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already following me on Instagram and Facebook, also go ahead and do that because I post more photos there, throwback Thursdays, technique Tuesdays kind of things, pictures of my cats on Wednesdays sometimes. <laughs> but thanks again. Hope you all have a great week and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.